We're at Cardinal Newman High School, where today we bring you North Coast Section Division Three Playoffs. It's Las Lomas taking on Cardinal Newman. Both these teams won their first round game. Cardinal Newman, the number one seed here in the NCS Division Three bracket. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Michael Barabalt. And, uh, Michael, good to have you with us. First of all, congratulations on your recent graduation you. from Arizona State. Here you are getting right into the mix here in an NCS playoff game. Should be a good matchup. Both these teams are pretty good. Yeah, 1-8 matchup here in the Division Three bracket. And particularly for Carter Newman, the number one seed, coming up a 2-1 to -one victory against 16 seed Miramonte. So it should be interesting to see how they respond against a tougher opponent in Los Lomas coming out of that Diablo Valley athletically. Yeah, let's take a look at the bracket and show you both these teams, of course, won their first round game and uh, looking to move on to the semifinals. This is a big matchup, weekend matchup. They both used their top pitchers on their opening game and, and Newman would have gone with Landon Rota today, but he's out six, so a late scratch. They put Jack Jack Larson on the hill as we get set to take a look at the batting order now. First for Las Lomas and their head coach, John Stevens. It'll be Brady Wright, Grayson Devine, Jonah Bronstone is the DH, Sam Lapping the catcher, Joey Ruska at first, Aiden Powers, Aiden Nold, Wyatt Glass, and Diamond Loosely, the pitcher, will be on the mound. Both these teams have very good ERAs overall, so uh, good pitching staffs. We expect kind of a low-scoring, hard-fought battle. Take a look at Newman's defense in just a moment. Larson gets set to deliver the first pitch of the day to Brady Wright leading it off for Las Lomas wearing their yellow. He shows bunt, and that's going to be a foul ball. And right away for Las Lomas, kind of an unlucky break. He shows bunt, tries to pull it back, and it hits the ball hits the bat anyway. Yeah, kind of a tough way to start the game for them. Strike one, right? And now strike two as he pours in another one. Larson has been used mainly in relief this year. In fact, he closed out Rhoda's last victory in the NBL championship game. Yeah, Larson working with a 1.56 ERA in 27 innings pitch to the season. This one is hit into left center field. And Ane Wilson has a beat on it. And he has it for the first out. Yeah, it looks like a curveball there from Larson. Kind of hung up just a bit. Right, missed it, and I think the wind kind of knocked that down out in left center field. I gave Wilson a chance to track it down. Batting for the Knights is well, unfortunately, three. our uh, defense Devine. graphic isn't cooperating, so I'll tell you it's Pueo, Boyd, Lazark, and Bryson on the infield. Niehaus, Wilson, and Wrongling in the outfield. Another guy who's out sick is Nathan Phelps. That hurts them both hitting and defensively. And uh, Cody Guy behind the plate. And we mentioned uh, Larson is doing the pitching. Umpire's talking things over about something. I'm not sure what. Yeah, I think their coach may have been referring to something Larson's doing on the mound. Maybe he's not, his foot's not making contact with the rubber entirely when he's in his windup or maybe coming out of the stretch. Plate umpire Patrick Borman. Think all he's going to have to do here is just ask the base umpire to watch out for it. Now it's actually going to go over and talk to him. Yeah, one thing, if I'm a coach, I might be out there in, involved in this, try to figure out what exactly they are complaining about and what the deal is. You never know in playoffs what you're going to see, particularly if there's umpires from out of the area, you're playing a team from out of the area, and, of course, you're going to try to take advantage of whatever you can figure out. That pitch is fouled Good. off. But always visiting teams when you're out of coming from out of the area, like you said, can sometimes be a little bit skepti skeptical of some home field officiating. And there's a strike. And Larson right away painting the corners with the fastball. Setting him up for his breaking stuff. This one is fouled off. It. Yeah, went to that same spot, fastball in the outer half. Caught too much of the plate for a no two pitch. Divine able to foul it off to the left side. Yeah. 
And that's strike three. Nice pitch. Yeah, two away. Came with the slider on that next 0-2. Missed high. And then really pounding that outside half of the plate to get Devine looking. See the batters having a little discussion about that. Larson looks good early here. Two Batting away. For the Knights is number two, Jonah Bronstone. Jonah Bronstone, the DH, steps in. And Larson already showing the respect for him going with the first pitch breaking ball. Yeah, Bronstone having a good year. 423, seven doubles, 30 hits on the year. And he takes a strike. Larson just getting the ball, and he's wanting to go. Slider, that's a strike. He evens things up to two and two. Bronstone hits this one to short. Lazar has it, throws across. Ball pops out. They're going to call him safe. Wow. Sure, exactly what happened there. Yeah, it was a bit of a wild throw. It pulled the first baseman well off the base to the left. Just trying to apply the tag, and Bronstone has the baseline as the runner, stayed in his lane, and he went to tag him. For the yeah. Is number six, Sam Lapping. Ball popped out right there. They're gonna call that an error. First error of the ball game. Yeah. And that'd be an E3. Would be E3? Yeah. On I think, the first baseman yeah. dropping the ball or maybe the bad throw? Good question. Could almost give a double error on that one. Yeah, I think you probably go with the throw that pulled him off. As Sam lapping the catcher steps in. And lapping a pair of home runs. Las Lomas as a team is at 10. Bronstone didn't have a home run to his name, although was one of two guys hitting over 400. 0 and 1. Foul tip of the plate. Newman has about six different players that are out sick for this game, so a little bit shorthanded. Coach Domenichetti making some last-minute changes on our lineup, and, you know, that's got to be tough. They do have depth. That's one thing Newman has had this year, so they're a team that can handle that, but it's not ideal going into a NCS quarterfinal. 0-2, got him looking. Newman is back to the dugout. Newman gets through that first inning and now we'll take a look at their batting order which was changed last minute in the DH position and Ane Wilson leads off again Nathan Phelps is out Jack Lazark hits second Brady Boyd third Gavin Ronglane will be in the cleanup spot Vero Pueo playing first base hits fifth Blake Bryson sixth Cody Guy catching Mason Lerma was inserted as the DH last second and Nate Niehaus will be in left field today for Cardinal Newman. This is a Cardinal Newman lineup that scores a lot of runs. 157 of them in their 26 games so far this season. That includes the NBL tournament and their first round win over Miramonte. Although it's just 2-1. to one. That victory. Ruska, Lathrop, Devine, and Glass around the infield. Powers, Wright, and Nolder in the outfield. Lapping behind the plate, loosely pitching. Brownstein, the DH. Lathrop is in there at second base, trust me. Even though you don't see him on the graphic. There's Loosely taking his warm ups. One thing I can't tell you is the music is plenty loud. <laughs> and Las Lomas going with. Diamond loosely on the mound. 
Opponents hitting just 192 against him this season. Lowest on the staff for the Knights. With a nice 2-1-4 ERA in 11 appearances. 64 strikeouts in just 49 innings pitched this season. So definitely a guy that can get the strikeout when needed. But has walked 37 batters in those 49 innings. Leading off. For the Cardinals is number 17, Anane Wilson. So Wilson will lead it off for Newman. Hitting 326 this year. He has nine stolen bases. Likes to take a lot of pitches. He's been hitting in the two hole with Phelps leading off. Catcher having a little trouble with his equipment. But a Wilson, Wilson definitely a capable guy in the leadoff spot. Lapping gets a different uh, face mask, and now he's back out there. And we are ready to go. Bottom of the first. Nani Wilson leading it off. And Wilson goes opposite, almost got Coach Derek in that third base coaching box. He made a pretty nice move to get out of the way with that one. Derek Benedetti, the head coach of Cardinal Newman. He also spent some time at Maria Carrillo before coming over to Newman. Wilson way out in front of that off-speed pitch, and it's a one and two. Yeah, sharp breaking ball that time from Wilson. That one misses outside. And tried that same pitch again, but tried to backdoor Wilson, but didn't get enough break on it. An interesting lapping going from the one knee behind the plate. See, a lot of catchers do that nowadays for better framing options. But now two strikes off the one knee. I know there's a lot of old, old school catchers that do not like that stance because it makes it much tougher to bl block pitches in the dirt. Yep. And um, But it has become the thing because you can get a little bit lower. You can get that lower knee part of the strike zone and, and like you say, frame it a little bit better. I'm, when I caught, I would usually go one knee, one knee down with nobody on base. But as soon as there was a runner on base, got to be ready to catch and throw if they decide to steal. 2-2. Two, two. That one just misses outside. Again, Wilson has a very good eye. He takes a good look at that one. The count's evened up 3-2. So Wilson and Loosely go the distance here. Newman's first hitter. Wilson to left field. Hit well. Powers right there. And he makes... No, he drops it. Oh, my goodness. Can of corn and Powers drops it in left field. So both teams have made an error now. There is a little bit of wind, and it's swirling a bit. It was blowing in directly all day. And I mean blowing in hard. But it's now started to shift a little bit. So blowing a little bit more out towards right field, which is more traditional here. So Wilson is aboard. He's a threat to steal again. He has nine stolen bases on the year. And Jack Lazark will step in. Throw over, checking Wilson back. Zark has 12 runs batted in this year, hitting over 300. Another throw over. They're well aware of Wilson's base stealing ability. And he's going. It's a bunt, and it's fouled off. A little bunt and run. And I tell you what, they might have got Wilson to third because nobody was covering the base over there. Yeah, to Benedetti right out of the gate, putting Wilson in motion and 
Trying to get some action early on, try to steal a run thanks to that error. Well, with a bunch of guys out in his normal lineup, I think he's going to try to manufacture today. In fact, in their first round playoff game, their first run was scored on a squeeze bunt. They were down 1-0 late in the game, and they squeezed run home and then wrongly homered in the bottom of the sixth to win it. But that's how they got their first run to tie that game up. Another throw over, really working Wilson. Thing you don't want your pitcher to do is focus so much attention on the runner that you lose track of the batter and you end up walking him and then he gets to go to second on a freebie. And by sending Wilson on that first pitch, that's exactly what they've got Las Lomas doing. Another throw over. Both coaches kind of have a feeling this is going to be a low-scoring game. If you look at the team ERAs and the way their games have gone, yeah, you could make an argument for this being a very low-scoring game. Of course, you never know in playoff time what's going to happen. And sure enough, he goes 2-1 and one on the hitter now. Hitters count, two and one. See if Wilson is sent in motion again here. Yeah, good hit and run count. Swing and a miss by Lazar. Good velocity by Loosely. Evens up the count, 2-2. Two, two. Wouldn't be surprised to see another throw over right here. But Wilson has shortened his lead now. Lazark to left field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. Lazark is aboard. Yeah, Lazark kept his bat through the zone on that breaking ball. Kept the hands in. Was able to dunk it out into left field. Newman set it beautifully early on. So two on here. For the Cardinals. And three hitter Brady Boyd will be next. Now it'll be interesting to see what Coach does. Now batting for the Cardinals is number three, Brady Boyd. Boyd's kind of anchored himself in that three hole, has one home run, 22 runs batted in this year for Cardinal Newman. Yeah, definitely the guy Newman wants at the plate. But interestingly, interestingly here, Los Lomas, at least the first baseman playing in, now backs up a couple steps. Be surprised to expect a bunt, but here it is. There it is, and it's a good one. Right on the line, tough play, but Bryson is out. The runners do move up. And you called it, Dave. They were going to try and manufacture some runs. I thought if you're leading RBI hitter at the plate, maybe you let him swing away, but gets the bunt down, and it was a good one. They seem square. Kind of showed it late, too. Yeah. Almost as if he was trying to beat off her head, and he kind of pushed at it as well. Loosely did a very nice job to get there and make the play at first base. But Newman does move the runners up on the sack. Batting for the Cardinals is number two, nice setup. Gavin Rongling. Tuesday night's hero. And here comes Gavin Rongling. They're going to walk him intentionally. Not even waste the pitches. Surprised to see that in the first inning. But again, both coaches are seeing that every run is going to be crucial here. Got it. For the Cardinals is number 25. And then you give Vero up the righty righty matchup to bring up the lefty Powell. Vero Pueu at the plate, 242 on the year, 12 runs batted in, a chance to do some damage here. With one out and the bags packed. Bottom of the first inning. Pueo swings and misses. That's a strike. And they want the... Looking for the strikeout or the ground ball here. Pueo struck out 24 times this season. It was behind on the fastball there.
One and one now. Loosely could use a strikeout right here. Strikeout or a ground ball. They're looking for two up the middle. And they got the force at the plate for the corners. Ooh, nice block that time by Lapping. That one was in the dirt. That's when you're very glad you're playing on turf. <laughs> Took a nice true hop. Because it landed in the in the right-hander's batter box. If that's a dirt batter's box after two or three hitters, you see a few holes, a few yeah. foot marks right there. And who knows where that ball is going to bounce. High fastball. Pueyo swings and misses. Two and two. And if I'm loosely, I go right back to that spot. Maybe even a little higher. Yeah. Make him lay off that pitch. Although you don't really want to go 3-2 in this situation. And also, do you trust your catcher enough to maybe bury a breaking ball? Try and get him to chase. They go fastball right down the pipe. Challenge pitch, strike three. Two away. Now that allows the corner infielders to move back and middle infielders to play at normal depth. Now you got to force anywhere on the infield. Now it's up to Blake Bryson to try to get it done. With two outs and the bases loaded. Las Lomas trying to get out of an early jam. Fastball popped up, could be playable. Ruska over near the fence and he runs out of room. Yeah, Cardinal Newman not making solid contact with the fastball. I'm loosely, I just keep throwing that fastball. And the one hit you gave up was on a breaking ball that was hit kind of towards the end of the bat. He intentionally walked the other hitter, and then the first one, Wilson, reached on an error. 0-1-1 to Bryson. Fastball hit into right center field. That's a base hit, and that will roll. Gets one run home. That gets two home. Newman takes the lead. Big hit for Blake Bryson. He drills it back up the middle and unloads the bases. And right as I say, keep going with the fastball. He does, but this time it's hit solid right there by Bryson. Goes the other way. Brings home two huge runs with two outs. Batting Gets their pitcher, Jack Larson, number the lead early on. Cody got. So Newman takes a 2-0 lead. Cody Guy now at the plate. Big hit there by Blake Bryson. I mean, when you get into the playoffs, especially now, second, third round, two out hitting becomes pivotal. Breaking ball, nice. there's a strike. Nice pitch. That's one of the pitch I think loosely wished probably wishes he had thrown in that situation to Bryson. And he started that pitch right at Guy and caught the inside corner. Now way ahead in the count, see where he goes. Another breaking ball. Gets away from the catcher and he falls. This is going to get a run home. Wow, wrongly heads up on that. The catcher kind of got his feet tangled up. I'm not sure what happened, but he couldn't get out of the box. Let's take a look. I can't, did the, I can't know if that ball hit the dirt before. No, it no, doesn't it look like, like he it. just dropped it. And yeah, he said he stumbled trying to go after it. And by then it had rolled too far to even have a chance to throw out Guy at first. So a drop third strike, that's going to be another error. Batting for the Cardinals is number 10, Mason Lerma. And now Lerma will step in. Lerma was a late addition to the batting order as DH. And only 11 plate appearances this year. It's he pitched really well in their opening win. Wasn't expecting to hit today. Even got a huge pickoff in the seventh inning of that win. One run game. He ended up going the distance. Lerma to short. Throw across is offline. And they tag Lerma out at first base. But Newman comes up with three runs here in the first inning. 
and they take the lead. We'll step aside right here. Newman with a 3-0 lead after one. We're moving to the top of the second inning here at Clyde Smith Field. Nice lead for the Cardinals. CIF Sports, true dedication. Performances are improved by hard work and good preparation and not by performance enhancing drugs. CIF Sports, true sportsmanship. Pursuing victory with honor is fundamental and I should display class and character whether my team wins or loses. CIF Sports, true leadership. Being a leader is more than helping my team. It also means being a luminary at my school and in my community. There are numerous ways student athletes in California exhibit the importance of high school sports. The California Interscholastic Federation wants to salute all of its student athletes who strive to be successful on and off the court. The CIF, dedicated to developing student athletes of character. This message was made possible by the CIF and Max Preps. To the top of the second inning now, Newman with a 3-0 lead, coming through with some big hits there and getting that third run home on the drop third strike. And scoring with two outs, obviously pivotal in any game, but in particular once you get into the playoffs and single elimination winner go home. For Los Lobos is number 28. Joey Give yourself Rista. a 3 nothing advantage like that. Just takes so much pressure off you as a team. And for Larson as a pitcher, now he has some room to work with. Joey Ruska will lead it off. Ruska leads their squad with three home runs. He's a good one. There's a strike. Of course, big facing him now. Nobody on, nobody out versus if Lapping reached in that first inning, he would have been up with two on and two out. Now that wind shifting in, blowing toward home plate. Yeah, that's more of the onshore breeze, is it? It kind of picks up a little bit. They are expecting it to shift to offshore, which would mean the wind would be kind of blowing out toward left center field as normal here, but that's not how it is right now. Ruska with a little dribbler. It's going to be a tough play. Larson scoops it and throws in time. Nice job to field his position by Jack Larson. Yeah, just an athletic play, getting off the mound and almost kind of a swinging bunt in that Batting sense. For the Knights, clean bare hand eight. and a got clean, rid of it quick and a clean Powers. throw over, yeah. Kind of a weird stretch by Pueo. He kind of went with the opposite foot on the base. One away. That brings up Powers, I believe. Powers to second. Another tough play as this one's hit slow on the run. Nice job by Boyd. Two away. Cardinal Newman after that error in the first. Showing off the defense a little bit as you see Boyd. Slow roller, chopper. Smooth Batting as silk right the there. This is number 11, Adam Nold. Two away. Aiden Nold will be next. Nold fouls that one off. Larson just pitching like he has a 3 nothing lead. Just has a presence. Body language is good. And is confident. 
Well, the interesting thing for him will be to see how far he can go today. He's been used in relief primarily this year, not as a starter. So if he gets a little tired after four or five innings, we may see a couple of different relievers here for Newman, depending on how this game goes. Sandoval, who was really their number one pitcher, has been injured the last month or so of the season, so they've had to do without really their ace. This one hit back up the middle. That's a base hit. Clean single for Aiden Nold. Batting for the Knights, number 23, Wyatt Glass. Really the first solidly hit ball by Las Lomas, and Nold just took it up the middle right where it came from. Past the shortstop, Lazark. Wyatt Glass is next. Two outs and a runner on. Glass swings and misses. Nice pitch. Uh, nice two-seamer there from Larson, diving in on the hands. If Glass made contact there, that would have been a stinger to the second baseman. One and one here with two outs. Good size lead. Ooh, and he hits him. Yeah, tried to come back inside with that two seamer. And that got gets it. their dugout fired up. Yeah, got it too far inside that time. Coach Derek DeBenede is going to come out and have a chat with Larson, kind of settle him down. Following another game in Division Three, 11 seed Albany leading West County two to one. West County the three seed. That's in the f after four innings. Derek heading back to the dugout. Batting for the Knights is number nine, Diamond Loosely. Diamond Loosely will be the hitter now. The pitcher stepping in. Loose lead is short. Lazark has it. And the side is retired. Nice job to get out of the jam right there. And we will move along to the bottom of the second inning. Moving up 3-0. T-shirts, sweatshirts, patches, hats, and visors are available on the NCS website. Go to CIFNCS.org and click on Shop Purchase Item. Today we ask God's blessing on this center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true so that the students who come here will be empowered to live their faith more fully, completely, and faithfully. That's the reason why we deem it necessary and valuable to have a beautiful building so we can attest to the students and to the teachers that what you are doing here is important. Make it become a center where students and teachers imbued with the words of truth. Even though this is an existing school, in many ways it is now a new school. We dedicate this building to the education of youth, to the progress of the sciences, and to learning. So moving to the bottom of the second inning, loosely back out. 
Osloma's got a couple guys on, but came up empty there. Leading off for the Cardinals is number 19, Nate Niehaus. Nate Niehaus will lead it off for Newman. And lapping again behind the plate, going down to that one knee and almost kind of in a, had his, had his left leg stretched almost all the way out, as you can see on the screen. Niehaus takes a strike. Niehaus also one of the guys that we may see on the bump before this one's over. There's strike two. And that's where Niehaus' height kind of is a disadvantage, a height strike there. Niehaus inside out gets the dugout. A wake up call over there. Newman sent eight hitters to the plate in the bottom of the first inning. Scored three runs on two hits. Couple of lost Lomas errors. Niehaus inside out in the air. Glass giving chase and won't catch up. I have a nice touch today. They've got a food truck down that left field line down by the tennis courts. I didn't get any pizza, but, you know, <laughs> home run pizza is here. Maybe they'll send us a few slices when, before the game's over. There we go. Could use three here on the broadcast booth. Yes, we could. Niehaus with a little looper. Powers has a beat on that, and this time he hauls it in. He dropped his first one today. And the wind now has died down completely, almost for the moment, just a slight breeze. It'll be interesting to see kind of how that plays the rest of the game. Now Generally, Sonoma Cardinal, County, that wind will pick 17, up as Anani, the night goes along. Wilson. So we'll see how it plays a factor here the rest of this game. Wilson is up now. He reached on an error his first time up. Tried that backdoor breaking ball to start with Wilson, similar to what he started Boyd with in the first inning. And again, missed outside. That one's fouled off. Yeah. Seemed like he may have used that first pitch breaking ball to set up that fastball in the year and a half. Wilson behind it there. But we know his potential if he's able to get on first base. Wilson ahead in the count, two and one. Two, two. I think loosely, actually, you know, was really close to getting out of the jam. I think the one pitch he wishes he had back was the fastball to Blake Bryson. I think throwing it by Pueo a couple times got, got him a little confident that he could do that to the next hitter. And uh, Bryson was having none as Wilson takes strike three and a nice breaking ball. And yeah, went back to that backdoor curve. On the outside corner, got Wilson looking, and I think both teams still feeling out the home plate umpire Patrick Borman strike zone, Number seeing eight, what Jack corners they can Lazar. get. See if they can get the high pitch, low pitch. Once we get to about the third or fourth inning here, they'll be dotting corners. And they'll, they'll know exactly what they're looking for. Lazar gets the first pitch in the air to left field, Powers. Makes the catch, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Las Lomas. So a nice job by Loosely to get through inning number two. We'll take another break right here. Be back with the start of the top of the third inning. Coming up next. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. 
But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. Today's game is sponsored by W Real Estate, founded in Sonoma County. W Real Estate has built a solid reputation of excellent customer service, attention to detail, and results. We're a local company with a global marketing program, and our team of professional agents know the North Bay like no other. Consistently recognized as one of the top real estate brokerages in the North Bay, our agents work here, play here, and are active members of the community. Whether you need assistance buying or selling, we provide unparalleled service and expertise that will exceed your expectations. Right. W Real Estate. Brady Wright will be the first hitter facing Jack Larson here. We've seen to see the approach second time through for Las Lomas facing Larson, who's, as you said, more so of a reliever than a starter. Probably doesn't face the lineup the second time through very often. Not very often, no. So now it's that kind of that game of adjustments. A roller, nice easy play by the pitcher. Larson, pretty right, thinking that it should have been called a foul ball. Not sure think that was off his foot or what but anyways one away yeah if that gets by Larson that's an infield single batting for the Knights is so number three Larson's Grayson made a couple Devine. very athletic plays off the mound and have saved base runners for Newman Devine takes one low Devine right at second base. That's a line out. Had him play perfectly two away. Seen a little bit more of an aggressive approach from Las Lomas, at least indicated by these first two batters. Both took the first pitch Batting and then for the swung at the next two, one. Jonah Bronstone. Trying to get that pitch early in the count. Good breaking ball, just misses outside, not by much. And probably an inch or two off the plate compared to that first one that was called a strike. Trying to go for that same spot. Two and one. That one's low, three and one. Inside, Pueyo right there. And he steps on the bag. Side, retired. So Newman looking good defensively right now. And we will move along. Heading to the bottom of the third inning now. We'll be back with more in just a moment. CIF Sports. True dedication. Performances are improved by hard work and good preparation and not by performance enhancing drugs. CIF Sports. True sportsmanship. 
Pursuing victory with honor is fundamental, and I should display class and character whether my team wins or loses. CIF Sports, true leadership. Being a leader is more than helping my team. It also means being a luminary at my school and in my community. There are numerous ways student athletes in California exhibit the importance of high school sports. The California Interscholastic Federation wants to salute all of its student athletes who strive to be successful on and off the court. The CIF, dedicated to developing student athletes of character. This message was made possible by the CIF and Max Preps. Brady Boyd leads it off for Newman as we head to the bottom of the third. Patrick Borman, the home plate umpire, not giving that low pitch. Talked about learning the umpire strike zone. Of course, don't need the umpire when you get a swing like that from Boyd. Nice pitch. Boyd, who Boyd. bunted runners over his first time up, kind of set the table for Newman. Not in big inning. There's a curveball for a strike. It seems like Lucy may have found that curveball. Is he triple up that curveball, or is he try the hard stuff? Goes downstairs, and again, they're not quite calling that. It's just mm -hmm. a little below the knees. Very consistent. Yeah, it may be a strike on definition, but you know, all umpires have their own zone, and I'm sure both teams are fine with it as long as it's consistent for both sides and it has been so far. Curveball and Boyd rips into the left field. Looks at that curveball one too many times. And Brady Boyd is aboard. Nice swing. And Boyd recognized that curveball was coming. That was on the inner part of the plate. And pulled his hands in and ripped that, that barrel through the zone the very nicely. Number two, Gavin Rungling. Newman looks to add on here in the third. Rungling will be next. Loosely really liking that breaking ball, starting off Rongling with one there. Rongling was walked intentionally in the first inning. Later scored a run on that drop third strike. Runner goes, Rongling pops it up. Everybody trying to find it. It's the right fielder, Nold, who has it. Fighting the sun a little bit, but he makes the play. Aiden Nold. One away. Now batting for the Cardinals, number 25, Vero for you. Wayu fouls that one straight back. Barrow went down swinging his first time up. Boyd at first. One away. Pueo takes that one just off the plate. Runner goes, and Boyd's going to steal this one easily. Picked a great pitch to go on. Got a nice jump, and away he goes. Take a look at the jump. And Boyd had a read on that one the entire way. We've seen loosely kept go to the creeping, kept creeping. We've seen him go to the breaking ball a lot. And there he goes. 
And he guessed breaking ball is coming. He guessed right. Pitt Quayle with a foul ball. Make the count two and two. Popped it up. Shortstop Devine. Grayson Devine calls for it and hauls it in. Two down. Now batting for the Cardinals, number 20, Blake Bryson. If you're Newman here, and you're Blake Bryson, have a chance to add on. You want to do it. In a base game like baseball, especially in the playoffs, playing a good team like Los Lomas, this game can turn quite easily. And you want to be able to add on when you can, like this. Runner in scoring position, but Bryson pops it up. This is a tough play. The shortstop finally does see it and gets back. Grayson makes the catch. Struggle a little bit to find the right position there. Today's game is sponsored by McCormick and Company Homes and Loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty, specializing in real estate sales and listings, private money investments, and unique financing. Let our family help your family find a solution to all of your real estate needs. And as proud Cardinal Newman sponsors and alumni, all consultations are complimentary. Call Marty, Rory, or James today. 526-1700. McCormick and Company, Homes and Loans. Heading to the top of the fourth inning. Still 3-0 Newman. Looking at that D3 matchup, Albany and West County. That's a three versus 11 matchup. That's now tied at two apiece going into the sixth inning. He played over at West County High School. Lots of playoff action going on all over the Bay Area this weekend. And this is going to be the first year where there will actually be NorCal baseball. So that's going to be kind of interesting. No state championship. But NorCal, a lot of graduations are going to be right in the middle right. of those. It's going to be really interesting to see who has players available. Always a tough time of, time of year if you're a senior when your season continues on that far. And especially matchup-wise, to see kind of how they pair teams. Obviously, we've seen it in Leading basketball for years. Nights. Football six, added it Sam. about a Lappy. half decade ago. And then now baseball seeing it for the first time. Can't wait to see how it unfolds. Fouled off. Jonah, or excuse me, Sam Lapping at the plate, catcher. And Lapping rips one to center field, and Wilson Ooh. leaps up and makes the catch. Wow, Nane Wilson almost overran that. It looked like it was going to maybe even drop in front of him. But then he has to jump up at the last second. Not an easy play. Let's take a look. Yeah, that line drive right at you in the outfield. Probably the toughest play in that baseball to read. Number 28, Joey Rusty. Obviously, that ball carried a lot far farther than Wilson thought, but uses athleticism to leap and make the catch. I'll be honest. Off the bat, I thought that was going to drop for a base hit. Oh, we did get some home run pizza. Wow, you gotta love that. They heard our message. Thank you. Courtesy of Landon Rodi here, okay? Couldn't pitch today, but he could deliver us some pizza, so <laughs> you gotta love that. 
It's always tough to eat while you're broadcasting a right. game, though. I've really found that difficult. Well, but for the night, I guess if you just tell Andrew. everybody, hey, we're having oh, home run pizza, they'll <laughs> understand. <laughs> Joey Ruska at first base. This one's lined and caught. No chance for a double play. Another nice defensive play for Newman. On a line drive, squared up again. Ruska was hit by the pitch. Let's take a look at that line out again. Ruska's reaction was very good not to get doubled off Batting right here. For the Knights. Yeah, and he, he wasn't Adam. too far off Goal. the bag. Again, like you said, read that well. Connor Newman flashing the leather. On the Las Lomas, a couple balls hit hard, but not a lot of luck. This one's to center field. And Wilson takes it in for the third out. So they do get a runner on on a hit by pitch. But we are moving ahead to the bottom of the fourth inning here at Clyde Smith Field. Cardinal Newman up 3-0 over Las Lomas. We'll take a break right here and be back with more in just a moment. Today we ask God's blessing on this center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true so that the students who come here will be empowered to live their faith more fully, completely, and faithfully. That's the reason why we deem it necessary and valuable to have a beautiful building so we can attest to the students and to the teachers that what you are doing here is important. Make it become a center where students and teachers imbued with the words of truth. Even though this is an existing school, in many ways it is now a new school. We dedicate this building to the education of youth, to the progress of the sciences, and to learning. Cody Guy will step in. As we move Leading along to the off. bottom of the floor. is number 27, Cody Guy. Ooh. Nice shot by Guy there, turning out of the way. And loosely in that third inning, began to go to the curveball a lot more. But facing the bottom of the order, though, here. It's a second. Nice play by Lathrop. One away. Quick out. And yeah, no action in either bullpen, so both coaches looking like they're going to stick with these pitchers, barring they don't get into any trouble. Batting for the Cardinals. Very interesting, as you Number said, 10, to see Larson. Mason, Lerma. Mostly coming out of the bullpen. Pitched four shutout innings at this point. Not bad. Mason Lerma at the plate. Spot there from loosely. Lerma grounded out to short his first time up. Got a late start today. Las Lomas had some bus trouble. Yeah, always kind of a, a tough. Thing, crossing the bridge, whether you're coming to Sonoma County or leaving Sonoma County, especially on a Friday afternoon for a yeah. 5 o'clock start. Yeah, whenever I talk to a coach or an athletic director, they're coming up here for a Friday, I'm like, make sure you get through the Nevado Narrows yeah. <laughs> before 3 o'clock, or else you're not going to get here on time. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure what happened, whether they had a bus breakdown or a bus scheduling problem, but some kind of a bus issue, and they didn't get a bus, I think is what happened. Oh, wow. Lerma goes down swinging. Nice pitch. Nate Niehaus will be next. Batting for the Cardinals is number 19, Nate Niehaus. Might go back to the Redwood Empire playoffs back in the old days. Yeah, that, what, that, that is old school. We used to have some great games. Ground ball to second. Side retired. A lot of first pitch hitting. And we're moving along to the top of the fifth inning now. Still 3-0, Newman. CIF Sports, true dedication. Performances are improved by hard work and good preparation and not by performance enhancing drugs. CIF Sports, true sportsmanship. Pursuing victory with honor is fundamental and I should display class and character whether my team wins or loses. CIF Sports, true leadership. Being a leader is more than helping my team. It also means being a luminary at my school and in my community. There are numerous ways student athletes in California exhibit the importance of high school sports. The California Interscholastic Federation wants to salute all of its student athletes who strive to be successful on and off the court. The CIF, dedicated to developing student athletes of character. This message was made possible by the CIF and Max Preps. Top of the fifth, 3-0. Kind of game we expected. Leading Las Lomas coaches are thinking things Number over over there. Wyatt Glass. Probably checking pitch count and all that kind of stuff, seeing what they want to do with loose leaf. As Wyatt Glass steps in. It's hit by the pitch, his first time up. Lines this one into right field, and that's going to be a base hit. Nice job by Glass hitting the first pitch. Man, we're seeing a lot of guys swing at that first pitch. Yeah, and it just seems like ever since both teams have gone the second time through, they've been hunting that first pitch, a little ambush tactic. No, Getting the, the nice. pitch they want early in the count. You see Glass there Loosely. doing just that. And for Las Lomas, first time a leadoff man has reached in the game today. So we'll see what happens here. Only the second hit for Las Lomas. And a bun here. Trying to move that runner along. Of course, for Las Lomas, running out of outs, nine outs to go in this game. Yeah, I'm surprised they're going to give one up right here because they need three runs, not one. Mm -hmm. Although I think it could be loosely up at the plate, nine hitter. Maybe want to set things up for the top of the order. Try and do some damage, but first three hitters for Las Lomas combined 0 for 6. Checking the runner back over there. Loosely showing bunt. Now he pulls back. Cody Guy was set up like a foot and a half off the plate that time. Still made contact with it, however. 0-2. Now Larson in his fifth inning of work now. Tell you what, thumbs up to home run pizza. Food's delicious. <laughs> You're very gracious. If I could get somebody else to come in here and do play-by-play, -play, I'd love to just really take a moment with my, my <laughs> slice of pizza. <laughs> Fouled straight back. When I couldn't do that to our intern, could I, right? Up? I First game, just know. say, here's the headset. Yeah. <laughs> Taking get, a break. Get Brett over here. Brett Gazletta helping us out. Sophomore at the same it's in high school. He's looking nervous all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> don't, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me right now. I'm good right here keeping score, man. Hey, you got to start sometime, you know. 
That one's out and away. Pueyo has it. He's going to go to second base and get the first runner, the lead runner right there. Nice play by Vero Pueyo. And Larson's defense has definitely helped him out. And a nice shot, Pueyo, just to get the lead runner. No, no shot to get two. Night. No need Number to 13, waste a throw. Brady, right. Ricardo Newman right now, 3 nothing lead. You're just looking to get out no matter how you get him. Brady Wright, representing the top of the order, steps in. Pitch. Wright has flown out and grounded out so far today. Runner goes. Good pitch to handle. Cody Guy on the money. Wow. Cody Guy guns him down. What a great play on both ends. You get the cold strike as well. Look at this throw just right there, right, right in the tag zone. Exactly, and a great tag by the second baseman, Boyd. Boyd. And can't say enough about that Cardinal Newman defense. Yeah, they played well so far today. 960 fielding percentage on the year coming in. They made that error in the first inning, but since then they've been spotless. And that was even kind of a fluke because the, the runner hit the, the ball out of Pueyo's mitt. Well, the throw was offline, but still was a fairly easy tag had the ball not popped out on the contact. Right, and that's something we could have seen there at the runner sliding in, but again, a nice shot by Boyd. Taking the throw and applying the tag and holding on to the ball. The most important thing. And there's ball four, so that was a big play. And now instead of one on two out, you could have had two on one out and the tying run coming to the plate. So, again, can't understate how big of a play that was. And it'll be interesting to see now. Cardinal Newman perhaps gets something going in the bullpen. There, the was out of the Number dugout. Three, Grayson, Grayson Devine is next. He lined out his last time up. Good stop by Guy. And right out of the dugout is to Benedetti. Yep, here comes Coach. Yeah, still no action in the bullpen. You wonder if someone may make a move, to, move down there. So you got, you're going to have Bronstone coming up should Divine reach. Although Bronstone doesn't have a home run, does have nine extra base hits. So This is where you start to worry about Larson as a reliever becomes starter. Around the fifth inning here, you start saying, okay, this could be about the time when he gets a little tired. And definitely, I mean, you, you got to give credit to, to Larson on short notice making the start. You mentioned not a starter by trait. And, you know, starting on short notice and... Through four and two-thirds shutout innings already, it's just allowed two hits. It's done a remarkable job to stymie this Los Lomas offense. He had made 14 appearances and not a single start. Divine at the plate. Ground ball to second. Flip to Azark. And the side is retired. So Newman... Keep that zero on the board. 
And we will move along to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Good ball game. And today's game is brought to you by W Real Estate. Founded in Sonoma County, W Real Estate has built a solid reputation of excellent customer service, attention to detail, and results. We're a local company with a global marketing program, and our team of professional agents know the North Bay like no other. Consistently recognized as one of the top real estate brokerages in the North Bay, our agents work here, play here, and are active members of the community. Whether you need assistance buying or selling, we provide unparalleled service and expertise that will exceed your expectations. At W Real Estate, our clients and their goals are our first priority without compromise. Whether you're needing to buy or sell locally, nationally, or internationally, our network is far-reaching, and we strive to ensure that each and every client is completely satisfied. This is our commitment to you and our community. Well, the girls' softball team had quite a game here earlier in the week, and they won big. Their offense exploded. Callie Howard came up here in the first inning with the bases loaded and delivered an RBI double. She would end up with three doubles on the day, seven runs batted in. Here's Ava Walters a little bit later in the game, and she sends one deep to left field. That was a home run. And Christelle McCormick came to the party as well. Just fair down the line. That's a home run as well. Newman ended up winning that one. 17 to nothing. That's a deep Division IV softball bracket. Cardinal Newman, I believe the fourth seed in that one. Anane Wilson delivers a base hit right back up the middle. Solid single. So mention that <clears throat> Division IV softball bracket as you see Wilson and shooting it right that back for the Cardinal. from where it came from. Number eight, Jeff Nice piece Lazar. of hitting. Fourth hit of the ball game for Newman. Jack Lazark is next. They threw over a bunch of times. Last time Wilson got on, Lazark takes that one or fouls that one off, I should say. Looks like Cardinal Newman's going to play Piedmont tomorrow right here at Cardinal Newman. Yes, division, Saturday at 1. And that Division Four bracket, pretty deep if you look at it. The teams left in the tournament, Fortuna the ninth seed. Very solid. St. Vincent, a league champion at the sixth seed. Won the NBL Redwood. 0-1-1 to Lazark. Swings away this time and pops it up. Looks like Devine, the shortstop, who's been busy with these fly balls, will take that one in for the second out. Excuse me, for the first out. I'll actually give you an update on the D3 baseball the side. 11 seed Number Albany three, Brady now leading Boyd. West County 5-2. to two. West County down to their final six outs over in Sebastopol. And it seems like every year in baseball you see that one upset. Hell, uh, Newman was almost one of those. Down yeah. one nothing late to a 16 seed, of course, ended up coming back and winning. Yeah, baseball's that one sport where if you have a good pitcher... You know, you may not have much else, but, you know, that's why you're a 15 or a 16 seed. But if you've got that one guy that on any given day can beat you, it can be tough. Yeah, I remember years ago, Casa Grande was a 16 seed, went over to Camp Alindo, number one, and beat them behind one pitcher, Eric Parnell, who ended up going to Oregon State. One of the few, if any, 16 over one upsets in NCS baseball history. I'd love to see the history behind that, see... It's happened a lot more in baseball than it has in football and basketball. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. That's why baseball's so unique. Any day, any time, anywhere, any team can beat you. Soccer, maybe, once in a while. I don't know. Yeah. Boy, it was swings and misses. Sure, Newman will try to get Wilson moving here at some point. Question is when. Los Lomas very aware of his base stealing ability. They've thrown over. They've been paid him a lot of attention. Steps off this time. A 
Curveball, good pitch to go on. And it's a great throw. No, he's under the tag somehow. Oh, my goodness. Not sure how he squeaked in there. Let's take a look. Well, Slow Miss is going to come out. And yeah, they're not so sure. Have a word. Luckily, we got the replay here. A reminder, at the tennis courts is home run pizza. Boy, oh, I don't wow. know. If you get hungry, you want to take something home, home Doesn't run look pizza like he missed the tag. over by the tennis courts. I'd be curious to hear the explanation on that. Certainly, it could be a critical call if Newman adds on and while Slomas tries to mount a comeback. Let's check it out again. Good jump. And slow it down about as much as we can. Ball beats him pretty clearly and looks like he got the elbow he did perhaps. tag him on the elbow so I think that's what they're saying is the tag was a little high and the finger slipped in and that's why if you're a shortstop or second baseman you just want to lay that glove in front of the second base bag not aim for the body so they're going to have to slide into the bag just make sure you have your glove there so that they have no way to get around it so Wilson's at second after stealing the base Two and two now to Brady Boyd. Nice job by the catcher lapping to make that throw down on the curveball. Because Wilson got a pretty good jump. Swing and a miss. Boyd goes down. And a big strike out there for Loosely. And see what they do with... Rogling again if they're going to walk him here with two out. Got it. Or if they're going to face the him. It's number two, Gavin Rumblin. Wouldn't be surprised. Rogling certainly taking his time, probably was expecting it, but now he's going to see some pitches from. Loosely, and this could be something where it's a pitch around situation where if you don't get him to chase, then you walk him or give him the old unintentional, intentional walk. There's a strike to Rongling. Was Rongling going to go to Santa Clara next year, but going to don the Sonoma Stompers uniform this summer? play for manager Zach Pace. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting uh, thing, adding the Stompers. The Packers, of course, have been in that league for a while, so it's going to be a nice little rivalry between those two. And of course, Healdsburg, the defending champion of the California Collegiate League. Yes. And uh, certainly creates a nice local matchup uh, between two Sonoma County teams. When do they meet for the first time, I'm wondering? Oh, I made you reach for your phone. I'll, okay. I'll find out. <laughs> There's a strike. I thought you'd have that right. I thought you'd have that information yeah. right there. Like you had it on the calendar, circled. I, I could tell you, opening day is uh, June second for the uh, Sonoma Stompers. They'll take on the stumped them. See that? I stumped them. San Francisco him. Seals. Wrongling waiting now. One and two. Wrongling with a good take gets me another pitch to look for that schedule and. Friday, June 10th, Prune Packers will be at Arnold Field in Sonoma. So it will be the first of, I believe, eight or nine matchups between the two squads. Full count of Wrongling. If I'm loosely here, I'm not giving in to Wrongling at all. You've got Pueo on deck who you've already struck out. Curveball, got him. Late call. Wrongling was headed down, but I think that was the right call. And we're going to head to the sixth. Wow. Great pitch from Loosely. Kind of a no doubter. 3 0 here in the Division Three NCS playoffs. We'll be back with more in just a moment.
Okay, here are three important reasons why your son or daughter should play a sport in high school. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages. And number three. High school sports are safer than ever before. This message presented by the North Dakota High School Activities Association and the North Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators. Top of the sixth here at Clyde Smith Field. Here's a full stop. Pizza trailer, a home run pizza. Right by the tennis court. Thanks, home run pizza. And if Newman wins and hosts on uh, Tuesday, you got to hope home run pizza's back for us. Yes. <laughs> Please. Well, Newman certainly, uh, they're six outs away from doing just that. And I've just been so impressed with Larson. I mean, started off really kind of from the first pitch has been in control of the game. Just his presence, his confidence. Has that control of the strike zone. And, you know, we can't, we've been beating this drum a lot, but as a, a reliever by Trey coming in starting on short notice, I mean, we didn't know until minutes before first pitch that he was going to get the start. And, I guess the good offense like Las Lomas, he has completely shut them down through five innings. Jonah Brownstone will step in now to face Larson. Still an empty bullpen for Newman. Larson's only given up two hits. He's hit a couple guys, but he's pitched well. Defense has helped the cause. He only has the one strikeout. That was back in the first inning. Swing and a miss by Brownstone. Larson's just done a great job of keeping hitters off balance. Los Lomas has hit some balls hard, but unfortunately for them, they've been right at Cardinal Newman defenders. Another swing and a miss. Brownstone reached on an error, grounded out to first. His... Two trips, and he takes strike three. Second strikeout of the ball game for Larson. Frozen. Batting for the Knights, number six, Sam Lapping. Larson doing a good job of finding that outside corner, getting Bronstone. Lapping is next. Larson just a junior, so he only has a bright future next year in his senior season, but you know, he's looking to make a deep run in the NCS and NorCal playoffs should they get there. There's a strike to Lapping. Hit the ball hard his last time up, but nothing to show for it. It was a line out. Nice breaking pitch by Larson. Got him way out in front of that one. And they're now in the seventh over at West County, 5-3 Albany. So the 11th seeded Albany looking for an upset. This one's fouled off. Of course, we talked about you know some 16 over one upsets in the past. Well, Windsor was a victim of one as a two seed, losing to El Cerrito, the 15th seed, three to two. Windsor won the NBL Oak, defeated Newman twice in the final week of the season to win the NBL Oak, but falls in the first round of NCS. Popped it up. Who's got it? Lazark. Nope, gives way to Wilson. And Anane Wilson puts it away for the second out. Long run by the center fielder, but he does a nice job calling off the shortstop. Batting for the Knights, number 28, Joey Ruska. Joey Ruska is next. Yeah. 
Ruska struck out his first time up. Or, excuse me, grounded back to the pitcher his first time up and was hit by pitch. Larson getting deep into this ball game. Don't have a pitch count on him. It would be interesting to see. And yeah, no one in the Las Lomas bullpen. Loosely looks like he's going to come out for the bottom of the sixth. This one's hit well. Long run. Nobody's going to get it. It's going to roll all the way into the deepest part of the park, that left center field corner. Ruska will hold up with a stand-up double. Nice piece. Las Lomas finally able to get one in, into the gap. Ruska. Sure he would have liked to have had this opportunity with a couple runners on, but we'll take the two-out double. And Las Lomas at this point just trying to pass the line. See if they can get a run or two here and give themselves a chance in the top of the, uh, in the, uh, top of the seventh. Third hit for the Knights. This one with two outs. Both these coaches showing a lot of trust in their starters. Powers at the plate now. Facing Larson with two outs. Getting deep into this game. If you're Los Lomas, this would be the time to get a run. This one's hit well again. Wilson long run, and he's got it. Anane Wilson tracks it down in the deepest part of the park. Long run to get there, and he makes the play. How about that? And we've talked all game long about that Cardinal Newman defense, and Anane Wilson reads it well off the bat. Gets to the spot and makes the play. Cardinal Newman's going to go in for the 3 nothing lead, hoping to add on. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one off yeah. the bat. See, so he got a great jump. Really made it kind of look easy. And was hit towards the gap, but didn't quite split the gap like Ruska's double did. So it gave Wilson a chance to catch up to it. With his speed, he was there plenty of time. Today's game is brought to you by McCormick and Company Homes and Loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty, specializing in real estate sales and listings, private money investments, and unique financing. Let our family help your family with all of your real estate needs. As proud Cardinal Newman sponsors and alumni, all consultations are complimentary. Call Marty, Rory, or James today at 707 526 1700. Thank you, McCormick and Company. Homes and Loans. Really appreciate our sponsors making these live stream broadcasts possible this year at Cardinal Newman High School. It's been a lot of fun. We've covered a lot of games, a lot of different sports, a lot of different teams, and it's been nice. Good ball game here. Three nothing. Newman scored three in the first, and it's held up. So we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Las Lomas with three hits, a couple errors, and uh, that first error was one that really hurt. Leading off for the Cardinals, number 25, Vero Poyu. Poyu out to play now. An interesting to note, Campolindo did beat Novato 5-3, to three, so the winner of this game would play Campolindo, the fourth seed. Novato got to the second round with an upset win in nine innings over Moreau Catholic. Actually had a lead in the sixth inning of that game, three to two, but Camp Lindo scored three in the bottom of the sixth to win that game. So if Newman is able to hold on. They would host Camp Lindo, I believe, next Tuesday. 0 oh, and 2 to Pueo. Fouls that one off. Uh Of course, I'm sure Camp Lindo's rooting for Las Lomas to come back and win this game because that I mean they would host the semifinal. Newman is the number one seed in this bracket. Las Lomas the eight seed. A lot of baseball left to play. It looks like Jack Lazark is down there in the bullpen getting loose for Newman. Ah, there we go, finally. So he may be getting the final three outs here. Now, Lazark has been used a lot as the closer, and therefore he's in the game as a shortstop. 
they've got to get him loose when they can. Yep. Lazark does have a pair of saves on the season. In fact, four different Newman picture, pitchers have recorded two saves each. Lazark, Tanner Bradley, Mason Lerma, and Jack Larson. And there is Lazark taking his tosses. Pueo takes one up. Lazark kind of in a sense of urgency down there, getting loose. Wonder if maybe Larson starts the inning, and if he gets into trouble, Lazark comes in, or maybe, or do you think Lazark gets a clean inning? Yeah, I don't know. That's a really good question. I'd have to check his pitch count. Honestly, if he's you know low 80s or high 70s, I I send him back out. If he's up around 85, 88, I'm probably gonna go with Lazark. Get a pinch runner for Pueyu. Lopez will run it first for Newman. Pitch running for the Cardinals is number one, Colin Lopez. Colin Lopez is aboard. <laughs> Big opportunity. Now no, Coach Derek is thinking tack Blake one on Bryson. right here. As Blake Bryson steps in. He had the big hit back in the first inning. A two RBI single that unloaded the bases for Newman. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got a piece of home plate umpire Patrick Borman in that left hand. That hand not hitting quite as well. If you're a home plate umpire, you're able to hide that right hand behind your thigh when you're getting ready to see the pitch, but that left hand kind of out in plain view sitting on your left thigh in the yeah, front. kind of exposed, yep. So, but it's able to shake it off. Breaking pitch. That's a strike to Blake Bryson. One and two. See if they start Lopez up here. Pueyo's actually been a good base runner this year. Stolen nine bases. It's popped up behind the plate. Lapping, giving chase, and he'll run out of room. Good hustle by Lapping. We'll do it again here at one and two. Nobody out. Newman has a runner aboard. That one's high. Throw down to first. Checking him back in. And that Las Lomas bullpen, rather quiet. Giving a lot of trust in loosely. Let's get through six strong innings. So we're going to go the distance here. Three and two to Bryson. See if they start the runner up. He's definitely leaning. He's going. Ball four. So runners on first and second now. And here comes the pitching coach is coming out. And they have not gotten anybody loose. So Looks like someone's now going to head down there. At least yeah, a bullpen yeah. catcher. Yeah, we got a catcher. And now we have a pitcher. Looks like it's Scott Silva heading down there to loosen up for Los Lomas. Or as Mike Kruko would say, get greased up. Silva has appeared in eight games so far this season for Las Lomas in 19 and two-thirds innings. It's a 3.92 ERA. And no scoring since that three-run first inning for Newman. It's been that low-scoring kind of pitcher's duel that we expected. 
Newman now with a big chance to add on with the yeah. bottom of the order coming up. And I'm betting Cody Guy's going to be bunting here. I just about bet the farm on that one. I'm sure Los Lomas now is ready for that as for well. The Cardinals, number 27, Cody Guy. The last time they bunted, that third baseman did not stay home. He came in and tried to field the bun. Let's see if they've maybe learned from that here. He bunts it out front. They're going to try to get the lead runner, and he's off the base. Everybody's safe. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, critical mistake by the third baseman, Wyatt Glass, over there. He did not find the bag first. He was over near the bag in the neighborhood. Had he been on the bag originally, they would have gotten that runner out at third. Yeah, he's trying to find it after he catches it. To no avail. And that's good hustle that by Lopez Cardinals, to run hard all 10, the way through. And now it's going to force Lerma. the Las Lomas infield all the way in here. Bases loaded. Lerma's up. Lerma, who was the pitching hitter in their round one victory, a 2-1. He went the distance, had a pickoff in the seventh inning. Fouls that one off. A lot of things will work here. Infield in, hard ground ball get through, fly ball deep enough to score. We don't know the arms for Las Lomas, so hard to say where you'd prefer that fly ball to go right here. But good speed at third for Newman in Lopez. And Lerma delivers a base hit to left field. That will do the job and get a run home. Mason Lerma. And just a great piece of hitting by Lerma going the other way, going with the pitch. The left-handed hitter, ball in the outer half of the play. For the Cardinals. Dumps it in the left. Number 19, Nate Everyone moves Neals. up a base. Newman in prime position to bust this game wide open. Nate Niehaus at the plate now. Only if you're loosely right now. Strikeout right now is the best thing you can have. Just to get an out on the board. It's more of a confidence thing at this point. And to keep your team in the game. Niehaus fouls it off. This is where when you're hitting in that nine spot, you really want to make a statement right here. You know, the other team's thinking, okay, we're going to go for the strikeout or the play at the play. We got the infield in. And as a nine hitter, you're thinking, I'll show you right here. Niehaus takes one just high. One and two, not by much. I wonder if maybe that was a bit off the plate as well. He had that high strike called against him in his first at bat. He is a tall guy. Wilson waits on deck for Newman. Six foot five. That one's stopped nicely by the catcher, Lapping. Sam Lapping doing his job behind the plate. Everybody retreats. Travis Taylor wouldn't mind seeing him on the basketball court. Yeah, I'd say. Two and two now to Nate Niehaus with the infield drawn in for Las Lomas. Fisted and fouled off. That wing kind of picking up just slightly, blowing over toward left field, left center it's field. It's definitely shifted from blowing in to blowing a little bit out from onshore to offshore. Or from offshore to onshore, I should say. I'm not a meteorologist, okay? <laughs> I'm not a meteorologist, but yeah. It's now onshore. It was offshore. And a good take there from Mijas. Borman hasn't called that low pitch all day. Three and two. Just good awareness of the strike zone. And a big pitch right here. Looper, trouble, it drops. <laughs> Newman's going to get two home. Cody Guy scores. Mijas delivers a big hit. 
And that's a great read by Cody Guy at second base. I mean, with the draw in infield, ball off the fist. He saw that ball was going to drop right away, took off. He was right behind Bryson, who was holding at third. And he came across to score. You see that one off the fist going the other way. And you see Guy was right behind him. Bryson just touched the play, and then Guy slides in. Yeah, he was already at third base when that ball dropped. Just a, a great read, great base running, and Newman has indeed busted this game open. So that's going to be all for loose sleep. A reminder, an easy way to get dinner to go up at the Home Run Pizza Trailer by the tennis court. Home run pizza up by the tennis courts. While he takes his warm-up tosses, we'll step aside one more time. Good ball game here. Newman with a nice lead. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. Let's try and find that West County score. 6-0, Newman. New pitcher coming in now for Los Lomas. And Albany, Albany did end up beating West County. West County had won 14 straight going into that game. West County at the bases loaded. And a fly ball into that game. So Albany, the 11th seed, defeated West County in another local team upset Daddy, in the NCS playoffs. For the Cardinals, number 17, Anane Wilson. Yeah, not many local teams left. Anane Wilson is next. So a couple games tomorrow with Divisions 2, 4, and 6. Wilson showing bunt still with no outs. Coach Derek not satisfied with two. He'd like to tack another one on. That pitch is high. Shortstop was moving, thinking he was going to bunt. I wonder if they were trying to a pick off there. Maybe yeah, his sign was missed or something. Yeah. Wilson has a hit in three trips. Also reached on an error back in the first. Wilson toward left field. And that is caught by Powers. First out, finally. First out by Silva. The senior on the mound, a 3.92 ERA and 19 and two third innings pitch. 20 strikeouts to 17 walks. Batting for the Cardinals. And now 20 innings Number pitched eight, even. Jack. As he records the first out there. Jack Lazark is next. Well, Zark was warming up in the bullpen. Wonder with a six-run lead now, possibly more if Larson tries to finish this. Pitches outside. Lazark hits it well, left field, that's going to roll to the fence. Lazark will get a one run home, they're going to hold up Niehaus at third. Lazark with a double. Check this one out, down that line it just kept carrying into that corner and rolled all the way to the fence. Yeah. for the Cardinals. And again, a it's great piece of hitting three, by Lazar in his second hit of the game. Newman just adding on, and 
Don't look now. At seven to nothing with a potential tenth run at the plate. Brady Boyd, the next hitter. Swing and a miss. Las Lomas continuing to play the infield in, risking Pretty much an even bigger inning. I know you want to try and cut down the run, but kind of in between a rock and a hard place for your the head coach of the Los Lomas Knights, John Stevens. Swing and a miss by Brady Boyd. Second out. And now Rongling will step in. Batting for the Cardinals, it's number two, Gavin Rumblin. Rongling takes one on the outside corner, sort of. Yeah, first time that's really been called all game. That one dumped in front of the plate. I think Silva may have tripped on that mound. More action down in the bullpen now for Las Lomas. And it looks like they're fixing something out there. That's the only thing that isn't turf on this field is the mound. Yeah, I think Silva may have tripped on that plant leg after that windup. Caleb Garrison warming up in the pen. Wrongly and hits it well, left center field and deep. And it's going to two hop the fence. Wrongly is going to try to stretch it to three. With a head first dive, he's in. Gavin Wrongly. Nice. Let's check out him coming around the bases here, trying to stretch this. Oh, he smelt it right out of the box to see if that ball was hit deep, nearly out of the ballpark. And a nice slide into third base. Batting for the Cardinals. The two-run triple. It's number 25, Vero. Shoot, now it's 9 nothing. Six runs in the sixth inning for Newman. Vero Pueyo at the play now. Another run here ends this ballgame, right? That's correct. Who would have thought that coming into this inning? So Pueyo can end it with a hit here. Hit, wild pitch, pass ball, block. Pueyo to right field, could be trouble, and it falls in, a base hit. And that is the ball game. Newman wins it. And that is game. Congratulations to both teams. I'm just extremely impressed with Cardinal Newman. On an particularly season. Jack Larson, but then the offense late in the game. Good job. Seven Cardinal runs Newman. in the sixth inning. And we'll they would have thought three nothing week. coming into this bottom of the sixth that this game would be over in the bottom of the sixth. No, oh, didn't see that coming. And I'm sure Cardinal Newman and Derek DiBenedetti will take it, saving one of their arms in inning as they head into 
a game of fourth seed at Camp Belinda on Tuesday. 10-0 is our final score of this one. How about that? Newman will move on in the NCS playoffs as Vero Pueo sends him home for the base hit in that his last at bat. It's going to do it for our coverage today. Hope you have enjoyed it. Cardinal Newman moves on in the playoffs. We will hopefully move on with them. This one is a final. 10-0 for Michael Baribalt and all of us here at YSN365.com and CardinalNewmanCardinals.com. I'm Dave Cox saying good night for Clyde Smith Field.